Several tornadoes ripping through Ohio, Indiana and Kentucky. At least three people dead and the hardest hit area, perhaps Logan County, Ohio. We've had team coverage all day long there. One of the spots there is Orchard Island and the damage there is just extensive. Homes were flipped upside down. Telephone poles tossed around like twigs. WLWT News 5's Rachel Hersheimer is there showing us what the storm caused in that part of Logan County. These are people's homes that were completely destroyed on Orchard Island. You could just see how powerful the wind gusts really were. That home is tilted on its side. And today we saw down trees, snapped power poles and just piles of rubble. Heartbreaking scenes from a powerful storm. I don't know how many fatalities there are, but I know there's just a lot of devastation here. This part of Orchard Island is unrecognizable. Windows are blown out. Homes flipped onto their sides, debris scattered. That appears to be my bedroom right here. That if you flipped it back that way. Walking through this neighborhood Kimberly Williamson calls home is devastating. It's been emotional. The mobile that is straight across from us is completely gone. It picked itself and set itself up on spend a day. This battered home managed to withstand the wind, but inside it's a different story. It's amazing in the short amount of time that something comes through what damage it does is just really mind boggling, you know, really. Jeff Baird was in Dayton when the tornado rolled through. He drove into town this morning to check on his second home that's now mangled and shattered. I'm surprised that it's actually standing as good as it is, but as you can see, it's still demolished totally. People's belongings turned to rubble, mixing with downed trees split into pieces and telephone poles snapped into fragments. If you come across the bridge, you don't you don't see much until you get across the bridge and it's like, oh, uh, the bomb just went off. Neighbors, volunteers and first responders are on site to put these streets back together. It's just, I guess, you know, just heartbreaking, you know, really. We saw a lot of volunteers today helping these homeowners board up windows and doorways. There were also a lot of people handing out food and snacks and water to make sure that everyone here is OK after this tornado just ripped through this community. But you can tell everyone here is strong and resilient on Orchard Island. Rachel Hersheimer, WWT News 5.